Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. Welcome back to my channel, my loverlies. If you've never been here before, thank you so much for clicking on my video. I am so happy you found me. I do so hope that you will like and subscribe before you leave. Become part of the Mama family. Mama's got your back, at least for makeup's concerned, and definitely when that makeup is cheap. Today is New Makeup Monday. We've got lots of fun stuff to talk about. Before we get into the new makeup products, if you guys are wondering what this fabulousness on my face is, I did film a TikTok on today's eye look. I used the Ace Beauté Nostalgia Palette. Guys, this is such a fantastic palette. It very much reminds me of fall. It's got like a very fall forward kind of color story but these purples in here and these pinks they're just oh they're divine they blend effortlessly they're not patchy they're just they they build beautifully the shimmers in here are truly incredible so so pretty i adore this palette very very much i picked it up off of boxycharm for like five bucks i think it was like five or seven dollars it's just really really pretty if you ever come across it i definitely recommend it it is it is a very very nice palette but of course i will have the links for uh the tiktok and all my other socials uh along with a list of all of the products that we're going to talk about in today's video listed in the description box below <coughs> sometimes it does take me just a minute uh to fill out the description box for some reason, YouTube will not let me upload a video when I have the description box filled in. I don't know if it's too much information uploading at one time. I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that I live in the middle of the mountains and Wi-Fi here is not great. Uh, but if I ever forget or if you ever go and check the description box and you find it empty, either I just haven't gotten it to gotten to it yet or I forgot. So leave me a comment and remind me and I will make sure to get that filled in for you. Other than that, guys, are you ready to explore some new makeup? I am so, so very excited. I am always excited when I get to come on and talk to you guys and film a video. One of my very, very favorite parts of my day. Uh, and as always, if you have any questions about whatever I'm talking about, about what makeup I use, what's on my face, please remember that I always post finished pictures over on Instagram and Facebook. There will be a full product list under each of those posts uh, detailing everything that I have on my face. But if you have any questions about what I used or how I used it, all you have to do is leave me a comment and I will get back to you. Diving in to the new, the new goodness. The first things I want to talk to you guys about are these nails. I am so, I feel so fierce. I like, you know, the clickety clack of your nails when you first get a new set on and you just feel completely and totally fabulous. That's how I feel right now. These are a new brand that I have never played with before. I picked these up at Burks. These are the Pretty Woman Faux Nails. Uh, they're just, they're nice. Uh, so I picked these up for $3 at Burks. And I went to the Pretty Woman website uh, originally. Originally, these nails go for around $11.99. Anywhere from $11.99 to $9.99. You want to talk about really fantastic quality nails. These are absolutely gorgeous. I have a yellow eyeliner. It stained my hands. I haven't had a chance to wash my hands yet, but y'all, these nails are bazonkers. They're so, so good. I was wearing another pair. If you noticed my rainbow nails from last week, uh, those were these as well. I wanted to really test them out, test them out and wear them a little bit before I really talked to you guys about them. But this is my second set that I've had on so far. I love the quality of these nails. First of all, when it comes to uh, press on nails. Uh, sometimes they're really great. Sometimes they're just okay. And sometimes they're terrible. Uh, I'm going to be doing a an empties video a little bit later this week. Uh, so we've got the good, the bad, the empty coming up. I think volume seven or episode seven is going to be coming up a little bit, uh, bit later this week. And I'm going to talk about a set, a brand of nails that are absolutely horrendous. But these are just so freaking fabulous. I cannot get over it. The cut and the shape of the nails, everything is really, uh, it's, everything's the same. Like a lot of times when you get, uh, nails and especially when they're on the more affordable side, they're just very irregular. They're not all shaped the same. There's, there's no consistency there. That's the word that I'm looking for. These, the shape, the size, the cut is all very, very consistent. There's no warped edges. There's no chipped paint. There's no like weird. They're just 
all really nice. Uh, they're very symmetrical. They're very, very even. They fit my nail beds really well. They look so gorgeous uh, on, the, on, the, on the hand. They're absolutely stunning. I cannot get over how much in this in this set in particular. I love them. Now you can get these. They are again. They have their own website. Uh, Pretty Woman uh, Nails. Pretty is it Pretty Woman? Yeah, it's just Pretty Woman Press Ons. Uh, dot com. They're so freaking good. Really affordable. You're gonna pay just as much for them online as you would. Uh, you know, in a store like Walmart or whatever. I think most of the press on nails at Walmart are around $10 a piece. So it's a really great value, but I think that these are really great quality. Uh, I definitely, next time I go to Burke's, will be picking up a couple more sets of them. They come in all kinds of different lengths. Uh, the ones that I wore last week were a little bit shorter. These ones are the medium length and they look stellar. Uh, I just love the way that nails, uh, I have very short, fat, chubby fingers. And when I have my nails done, I just feel like it makes my hands look so much longer and so much thinner. It makes me feel better as a person having my nails done. I just love it so, so much. And I am not going to be spending all that money. Like what? I think the last time I went and got my nails done at a salon, they were like 60 bucks, which was absolutely ridiculous. Ridiculous. On top of that, it takes hours to do. Y'all, I sat down and I did my nails today in like 10 minutes. Uh, they're just, and they last for absolutely forever forever. Uh, the, these ones don't ping off. Uh, they do come with a bottle of glue included. The glue is actually really nice as well. They're, it, these are just really great quality. And I found them for three bucks at my local Burks. So next time you go to Burks, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, uh, whatever is closest to you. And if you see this brand, try them out. Uh, they, they don't, they look cheap. They look odd. They look weird. But y'all, I am telling you, the quality is absolutely fantastic. I was very, very skeptical. I don't know. I don't know what it was about the packaging that just made me think that it wasn't legit. But y'all, I picked them up and for $3, you get, uh, for $3, you get like two weeks worth of a manicure. Manicure, You cannot beat that at all. I absolutely adore these. 100% I will be going back and picking up more sets of these. The next thing I want to talk about is a couple of things that are uh, new to me not necessarily new on the market, but new to my collection. Uh, the first of which being this thing right here. So this is the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. I have this in the shade Vanilla, and this has actually been in my collection for a little while. And I remember the first time that I used it, I don't know what it was about it, but it just didn't kind of wow me. So it's just been sitting here and I haven't been touching it. Well, I picked it up last week and I was like, let's just try it out. Let's see if something's changed. I really didn't remember why I didn't enjoy it. Y'all, I have been using this nonstop all week. Uh, it is absolutely fabulous. If you have super dry skin, you guys know I am a dried up, dusty old mummy. And especially my under eyes, they just, oh, they just, it's like they repel moisture. This goes on. It looks so beautiful on the skin. It's got a really beautiful uh, kind of hydrated, I, I would say medium kind of coverage. Uh, this shade also works really well for me. It uh, brightens just a little bit. And as you can see, the texture is really nice. It's got a really great amount of hydration there. Uh, it goes onto the under eye. It's not matte, but it's not overly dewy. It doesn't take a butt ton of powder to set it down. A light kind of uh, dusting of powder and it's good to go. I've had my makeup on for a couple of hours at this point and it looks really, really nice. I am very impressed with this concealer. Uh, I do feel like I want to go back and pick up a shade lighter. Uh, I'm not sure if they have a lighter shade, uh, but again, this is in the shade vanilla. I think there might be one shade lighter, uh, and it's just because I like my under eyes to be nice and bright, but y'all, this, especially on a no makeup makeup day, all I'll do uh, it is a little bit different because there is no doe foot applicator, so you do have to pump some out onto the back of your hand, but I like to apply it with this Shop Miss A brush that I picked up. This is the Shop Miss A high def brush. It's the E106. It is a kind of triangular, thin, flat brush. I'll pipe just a little bit onto or pump just a little bit onto the back of my hand and then take this brush and just apply it uh, wherever I need it and then go in with my sponge and blend it out. Y'all, it looks so so pretty on the under eyes and I'm super picky. I'm super picky about under eye concealer. 
you have to be when you have dry skin uh because a lot of times you go in trying to make yourself look better and you just end up making yourself look worse this definitely does not do that it looks so super pretty on the under eyes uh, and if you're not looking for something super heavy and full coverage you just have a, a little bit of darkness that you need to kind of brighten up and wake your under eyes up just a little bit i think this is a fantastic fantastic option this goes for a eleven dollars at ulta.com i think it's worth that eleven dollars seems to be pretty much the norm when it comes to concealers at the moment uh, i think this is a really really great one i do hope that they can reformulate this and do it in a uh, uh, a doe foot applicator kind of thing, uh, just because I feel like it would be nice to be a little a lot easier instead of having to get out a brush and a sponge uh, to blend out your under eye concealer. But I'm not going to gripe too awful much because it is a really beautiful beautiful product. I also picked up the uh, Relove by Makeup Revolution. Uh, so Relove is a sister brand to Makeup Revolution. It's a new brand at Walmart and they actually are super, super affordable. A lot of their stuff is like $5 and under. This is the Pore Vanish Primer. It is a blurring primer. This goes for around $5, $4.98 at Walmart this is nice uh usually when it comes to pore vanishing primers they go on they feel mattifying they feel drying a lot of times they're more of a silicone based primer uh so it's not really doing your skin any favors and then half the time they don't even work uh but with this one it is more of a gel kind of consistency it feels beautifully hydrating on the skin it almost has a like a water gel consistency you rub it in to your skin it feels beautifully hydrating it has a really beautiful pleasant kind of almost want to say it smells like mango it's got like a very uh tropical a fruity kind of scent to it not overwhelming but very very pleasant uh to put onto the skin and then it kind of goes on and it doesn't so much mattify as it just kind of slightly blurs out the pores. Now there's it with the, there's my hand with the primer on it. And then there's my hand. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's my hand without the primer. It is stained. I was swatching some makeup a little bit earlier, but you can see that I do have fairly large pores on the back of my hand uh, and then comparing them to the one with the primer the pores are still there but they are blurred out just a little bit it's not the best pore blurring primer i have ever used but it does work uh, and i like the fact that it one has the really nice fruity kind of scent to it i like that it feels hydrating on the skin it doesn't feel drying or mattifying so if you're a dry skin girly and you're looking for something that's going to help blur your primer, uh, blur your pores just a little bit uh, without, you know, absolutely taking every ounce of life out of your skin, this might be a really nice option. On top of that, uh, it's only five bucks. Now you do only get half an ounce in here. Yeah, less than half an ounce. You get 0 0.40 ounces. Uh, usually when it comes to standard primers, you're getting a full fluid ounce. But on top of that, most primers are around $15. So you're getting about half of the product for a third of the price. I think that's an okay kind of uh, trade off. And quite honestly, you don't need a ton of it. Uh, this will probably last you a good long while. They have the pore vanish. They also have the hydro, the hydrating primer. I picked that one up as well. I really enjoyed that one. I haven't had a chance to really test that one out. So it's not in today's video. I have, however, been testing this out quite a bit here recently, and I've been enjoying it quite a bit. So uh, I figured that was definitely worth mentioning to you guys. The next thing I want to talk about is this thing right here. Uh, if you guys don't know anything about me, I, well, I talk about masks all the time, so you might know. I'm not sure. I love a good mask. I love a good face mask, uh, especially at night while I'm sitting on the couch after dinner, uh, watching TV, getting ready for bed. I love to kind of pamper myself a little bit, take that minute, just sit down and relax. And I love to put a good facial mask on. And I do not have a ton of experience when it comes to this brand. This is the uh, Bare Minerals Claymates Masking Duo. Uh, so you have the Be Bright Mask and the Be Firm Mask. Now, I have never had anything from Bare Minerals. I feel like that's one of the brands that I would really, really love uh, to play with. 
I feel like they're geared more towards women my age, uh, women who are coming up, you know, I'm, I'm, almost, I'm almost 40. Uh, so I think that this is kind of more age appropriate. Uh, and I just think that they're re a really great quality brand, right? So I was excited when I found this at my Burks. I paid $12 for this. How much did I pay for this? I paid, yeah, I paid $12 for this. You get two different masks in here. So one is firming and one is brightening. Y'all, when I tell you the packaging on this is absolutely spectacular, I am not lying. This thing is heavy. It feels heavy. It feels well-made. It feels luxurious. And you guys know I am all about a luxury moment. Not about a luxury price tag, but if I can find that luxury kind of feeling at a drugstore price, I am all for it. And this definitely gave me that. For $12, you get two different masks. You get a purple mask and a green mask open it up it is sealed so it keeps all that moisture in there and the actual masks themselves don't dry out and i have been going hard on this stuff i really really enjoy it so on one side you have your i think this was supposed to be purple at one point in time it is no longer purple it's like yellow now uh but this is the brightening side of the mask and then this one is the firming side of the mask it smells wonderful very herbal almost minty in a way it goes onto the skin and when I tell you this mask actually freaking works oh my goodness gracious so the first time I tried this out I really wasn't expecting a ton when it comes to skincare from Burks, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, places like that. A lot of times it can be either hit or miss you don't know how long it's been sitting on the shelves uh, probably a lot longer than you want it to you don't know if it's even effective anymore. Um, but for 12 bucks, I was like, you know what? It's Bare Minerals. I've been wanting to try stuff from Bare Minerals. Let's just go for it. Uh, so I picked it up and I picked this up actually quite a while ago. I want to say at least a couple of months ago. <coughs> Excuse me. My asthma is acting up. The pollen is real. Anyway, I picked it up. I took a chance on it. Uh, I came home and it says when you uh, go to play with this or when you go to a apply this, it gives you directions and it says to kind of pinpoint uh, and paint the mask on different areas of your face. Uh, so it's a duo like this. So uh, the parts of your face, like your jowl, your jowls and uh, any fine lines, things like that. You put on the firming mask uh, and then, you know, like on the under eyes, the T-zone center of the face, uh, anywhere that you have like dark spots, things like that. You put on the purple mask to brighten. Uh, Y'all, you leave it on until it's dried down fully. Usually for me, that's a good 15, uh, 20 minutes. Uh, it just, it kind of hydrates the skin uh, on top of doing all the other things that it's supposed to do. When I went and washed this mask off, when I tell you my skin looked brand new, my skin looked so incredibly gorgeous. Not only was it beautifully soft and supple, it, vi it like visually it looked brightened. It looked firmer. My This part of my face felt tighter. It just really, really worked. Uh, and it felt good like that for, I want to say a good two days. Uh, so, and you of course, a mask, uh, the effects of a mask are not going to be permanent. They are very, very temporary. But when I tell you I had an amazing makeup day that day. Huh. So if you are going to a party, if you have, uh, if you're going to go take family pictures, if you have an occasion where you just really want to look your best, uh, masking and masks like this are a really, really great kind of just little extra something gives you another kind of step up uh, and, and really helps you to be the, the best that you can be. I guess, but I really enjoyed this mask. I looked into the mirror and I was so happy with the way that my skin looked and felt. It just felt so, so nice. I have been looking for this mask uh, each and every time I go back to Burks. Unfortunately, I have not been able to find it again, but I did find this duo on Amazon for around 20 bucks. How much was it? It was, oh, $18.99 on amazon.com. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping and praying that my taxes get here at some point in the near future. Y'all, I'm so broke. <laughs> I'm so broke. Uh, but as soon as I get a little bit of extra money to play with, I definitely will be repurchasing this. I very, very much enjoyed this. And I think for 20 bucks, 
definitely worth that. Uh, you get a good amount of product in here. A little bit goes a long way. And this is just something really nice to do for your skin uh, when you just when you just want to look your best, you know. This was super, super nice. And I freaking adore the packaging. I think it is so, so nice. It also comes with its own little spoon thing that you can kind of scoop uh, the mask out with. It came with a big old pamphlet. It's just really, really nice. This is a fantastic fit. And you know, the thing about masks is a lot of times they're so hit and miss. I think with a lot of masks, it's like a, a placebo effect because you really don't know if they're doing anything. Uh, most of them are just kind of hydrating and that's about it. But I, I legitimately saw a difference in both texture and firmness of my skin using that mask. Such a good one. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about is this bad boy right here. So this is the LYS Cream Bronzer Stick. I have mine in the shade Harmony. Y'all, when I tell you this is probably, ooh, I got hair everywhere. I'm in a shedding phase and every time I move my arms, I feel another piece of hair sticking to my shirt. Ugh. Anyway, LYS No Limits Cream Bronzer Stick. This is in the shade Harmony. Uh, I picked this up from BoxyCharm.com. I also picked up the LYS No Limits Matte Powder Bronzer. Phenomenal. I have it in the uh, same shade, Harmony. Y'all, when I tell you this is probably the creamiest, dreamiest bronzer stick I have ever played with, I am not lying to you. It is absolutely fabulous. Now, this is available pretty much everywhere. Uh, you can get it on the LYS Home site. You can get it on Amazon. You can get it on Sephora. It is uh, also LYS is one of the more affordable brands at Sephora. Full price, this thing goes for 20 bucks, which again is a little bit expensive, but definitely not Sephora expensive. Uh, so I thought that was really, really nice. Uh, on top of that, LYS is a black owned brand. It's a female owned brand and we love that here. Y'all, when I tell you this is, like I said, the creamiest, dreamiest freaking bronzer stick, I adore the tone of it as well. Uh, this is what I would call a perfect bronzer. It has a little bit of warmth to it. It is very, very dark, but it does sheer out beautifully. And the thing that I like the most about this is how lightweight it is, right? So it goes on, it shears out beautifully. It's got that really gorgeous kind of like reddish undertone that looks so perfect on my very, very pink skin. It shears out beautifully. It dries down 100 and 150 percent. Like once it dries down, it doesn't move. Uh, it sinks into the skin beautifully. Uh, it's got, I want to say not like a dewy finish, uh, but it has a slightly luminous finish, but I want to call, I want to say it's more of like a demi matte than it is anything else. Uh, it doesn't feel sticky or tacky on the skin. Uh, it doesn't even really leave a dewy it just gives a little bit of life to the skin. It adds coverage to the cheeks, which you guys know I really, really appreciate. It dries down and it is such a thin, lightweight, blendable formula. A lot of times because this is so pigmented, uh, I don't even draw this on my skin. I will take my e.l.f. my e.l.f. brush. This one that I have been using for the absolute longest time, this is the Buffing Foundation Brush. I will take just a little bit of it like this and then kind of stipple it onto my cheeks. It looks absolutely phenomenal. This thing will probably last me until the end of time. Uh, well, probably not because I use the crap out of it, but the little bit, the tiniest amount of it goes the very, very longest way and it just looks so incredible on the skin. Uh, it makes me really wish that I would have picked up more of these because, of course, I fall in love with something and then I, it, it, it freaking disappears. Uh, I have not seen this on the BoxyCharm website again. So if you ever got, if you guys ever come across this and find this on sale, please let me know. Uh, I definitely would like to try out a couple more colors of this. I'd like to see if there are any uh, lighter colors for in the winter when I'm not quite so dark and when I'm not self tanning. But y'all, this is so phenomenal. On top of that, I absolutely adore the packaging. You don't see rose gold too, off, uh, too often. And this is just super, super pretty. It's not very heavy. It's very lightweight. Uh, but I think that kind of mirrors the product inside because the bronzer itself is so lightweight and kind of airy. I think it's kind of, it makes perfect sense. But y'all, this has quickly become one of, it, it, it it's very good. It, it is my favorite cream bronzer stick at the moment. So, so yummy. 
Next, I want to talk about, let's talk about this W7 palette. Uh, so I picked this up the last time I went to Burks as well. Y'all, I am a W7 stan. Uh, W7 is a UK based drugstore brand. They're pretty much known, they're like the elf of the UK. They pretty much dupe everything uh, and they dupe everything really well. And this is the Sculpt Power uh, Bronze Blush Highlight Palette. This is basically supposed to be duping a either I think I think it's either Benefit I think it's Benefit I think this is supposed to be duping the Benefit Hulu bronzers things like that but y'all when I tell you this is absolutely phenomenal I adore this first of all the packaging couldn't be any cuter if it tried I absolutely love this kind of comic strip front super cute I love the whole color story. It feels very retro. Uh, I love the vibe. And then you open it up, you get a nice mirror. Mine is, of course, cracked, but I got it from Burks, so that's that's okay. Uh, but you get two bronzers, a blush, and a highlight. Y'all, when I tell you these, these powders are phenomenal, I am so in love with everything. This is probably one of the most perfect face palettes, especially affordable face palettes, that I've found in a very, very long time. So this one is a kind of bronzer contour color. Uh, this looks really, it is, I can't even. It is such a gorgeous kind of neutral, uh, it, it's a contour color. It's got a great amount of that cool neutral undertone to it. But it's also got a little bit of warmth to it as well. So it goes on to the skin and brings a little bit of life back to the skin, uh, life back to the face, but it also kind of shapes and sculpts. Uh, you also have a, and this is very, very matte. And then you have this one, which is a little bit warmer, but it's also uh, a shimmer finish. So this one kind of goes on and leaves a little bit of a luminous kind of glow to the skin. So you can go on with the matte one first and then top it with the more shimmery finish one and it looks phenomenal. Then you have this blush, which is an absolutely, absolutely gorgeous, uh, slightly luminous. It's not flat matte, but it's not like shimmery or chunky glitter, nothing like that. It's beautifully pigmented. It's a really gorgeous, very neutral peachy pink tone. Going to be flattering on absolutely everybody. And it just, it's just good. And then last but not least, you have this really, really stunning uh, light golden highlight. It just looks so pretty on the face. Can you guys see that? There we go. It just goes on and it is such a perfect color. Uh, it brings that glow to the high points of your face. Doesn't leave a cast. It doesn't look chunky or bunchy on the skin. Uh, it's a highlight, so it does, you know, all highlights kind of emphasize a little bit of texture. But y'all, it just looks so freaking pretty. There's no big chunks of glitter in there. And this goes for, did, did, I, not, did I not write it down? I didn't write this down. Uh, how much did I pay for this? I paid $4.99 for this. So did I write this down? Yes, I did. Sculpt Power Face Palette. I wrote it down, but I didn't get a price for it. So I'm sorry. But uh, I think this goes, I think this would be like five or six bucks. Uh, for some reason, Burks tends to price W7 products more expensive in store than they even are on the website. W7 is a genuinely like stupid affordable brand. Uh, and there's going to be a case in point here in just a second. Uh, I'll explain why I said that. But super, super affordable. Quality is definitely there. It is phenomenal. So if you come across this, definitely pick it up. If you're looking for an everyday, super easy kind of face palette, I think that this would be a fantastic one. Uh, you can find this on Amazon, places like that. Uh, W7 is sold on Amazon. They have quite a selection on there, but then they also have W7 USA uh, and they have products available there as well. But this is a fantastic, fantastic option. And then last but not least, I want to talk to you guys about a couple of big giant neutral eyeshadow palettes uh, that I picked up last time I went to Burks. And y'all, when I tell you I love W7, I promise you, I am not lying. If I lived in the UK, I would be begging for a sponsorship because they're just, they really do make fantastic quality products for really fantastic prices. So the first eyeshadow I want to talk to you guys about is the Cool Down Palette. I used this palette the other day for this super gorgeous, cool-toned, uh, timeless glam look. 
I loved it very, very much. And the thing that I like uh, probably the most about these palettes is the variety that you get in each of these. So packaging, first of all, is fantastic. Uh, it's nice, sturdy, solid cardboard packaging. It feels heavy. It doesn't feel cheap in any way. You get a nice, big, full-size mirror. And then this is your color story. Now, the shape and kind of overall concept of these palettes are very much modeled after the Be Perfect Stacey Marie Carnival palettes. But I think that the color story is very much modeled after the uh, ColourPop, you know, the ColourPop big neutral palettes. That's what these remind me of very, very much. When I tell you that the formulas in here really are just good, they're just good. Beautifully pigmented, super easy to build and blend. You have a cool toned color in here for absolutely every occasion. There are options upon options upon options. Uh, the metallics in here are so, so nice. Beautifully pigmented. They're not chunky. They're not glittery. Uh, they just go on the eye. They have a really beautiful amount of reflect to them. They're not shimmer so much as they are metallics because I just, <clears throat> they're just so, so good. I just can't get over it. Uh, they go on the eye really beautifully, pick up super, super easy with a brush as well. That's one of the biggest things uh, I look for, especially when it comes to a shimmer or, you know, or a metallic formula. I need to be able to pick it up with a brush. So there is a brush swatch. I did do it over that cream bronzer. Let's do another one over just clean skin. So there's one over clean skin. So it does pick up beautifully with a brush. So you don't have to go and risk gouging your eyeshadow palette to get the product onto your eye. These are just phenomenal. Uh, on top of that, full price. Again, these are available on Amazon. They're available on the W7 USA website. Guys, these go for $9.95 not even a full ten dollars you get a butt ton of different options in here and the packaging is phenomenal you will you legitimately cannot beat it i don't know of any other brand uh, in the u.s that i've come across that is going to give you this quality this quantity for that price tag uh not even ten dollars 9.95 you're getting it, it truly is a phenomenal phenomenal deal if you're looking for a big bold beautiful kind of uh eyeshadow palette. If you're looking for something super cool toned and neutral, this is absolutely fantastic. Uh, they also make the, the, the W7 Mardi Gras palette. I forgot to pull that out for this video, but that one is very much a dupe for the Stacey Marie Be Perfect Carnival 3 palette. I love it. I will say, uh, especially going into this next palette that I'm going to show you guys, uh, this is the W7 Love Fest palette. Uh, this too is basically pretty much the same thing. Same layout as the cool, cool down palette. Uh, beautiful, heavy, well-made cardboard packaging. You also get your nice uh, big full-size mirror, but this is your color story. Now this one again is a cool toned neutral palette, but in here you have pops of pink and purple uh, instead of it just being like a more gray, glamorous kind of color story. Uh, in this one, you're getting more of a rosy toned purple kind of color story. So it definitely would benefit your collection to have both, just in case you needed that excuse to go pick them both up. Uh, but the thing I like about this one is you're getting different textures in here. You have a pressed glitter in here. You also have shadows that have a little bit more glitter to them that aren't just straight up metallic. Uh, these are very well curated palettes as well. They go from super light to super deep. There's a great... Uh, ratio of both mattes and shimmers in here. Lots of really gorgeous transition colors, uh, really beautiful pops of pink and purple, uh, nice deepening up shades like for out the outer corner. They're just fantastic palettes. You could use this every day for like a month straight and still not wear the same eye look twice. They're just phenomenal. Uh, the only thing I will say is that the pinks and reds from this brand, they do stain. Uh, and I think part of that is because they're pressed pigments uh, and you know, pressed pigments, they're going to be, they're going to stain. Uh, so just be aware of that. If that bothers you, stay away from the pinky or red tones but I've never had any problems with any of the neutrals staining my eyes. They go on, they come off really easily. 
these they wear all day they're easy to work with they blend they build everything that you want a good eyeshadow to do these do for like a third of the price of everything else so if you ever come across this brand, I highly encourage you to pick it up, try it out. It is so, so, so worth it. Guys, that is going to be it for me today. I hope that today's video was helpful to you in some small way. As always, I will have everything that I listed in, or that I talked about in today's video listed in the description box below, along with the links to all my other socials, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, all that good stuff. If you're not following me everywhere, you should definitely go do that. I post fun content every single day, and if you're following me everywhere, you don't have to worry about missing a single moment. Guys, as always, uh, no filters, no edits, no fancy lighting. It's just me sitting in front of my camera, playing with some new makeup, hoping you guys are enjoying what I'm doing. And until next time, stay safe, take care of yourselves, and remember, you're important. Bye.